Hello and welcome back to another Tuesday episode of World Traveler Cooking. Today we are continuing with our uh, Daughter Sauce uh, series. By the way, again, very sorry for the noise in the background. They are tearing down the house next door. And they are doing so with relatively uh, simple tools, so it's going to take a while. Anyway, um, this week we are going to make um, Bourre Blanc sauce, or uh, this is a French white butter sauce. Um, this is a relative of Hollandaise sauce, sometimes it's considered a daughter sauce, although it does not include the egg yolk. Um, so our ingredients are extremely simple. We have uh, white wine, we have white wine vinegar, so I've mixed them together, so I have about 40 milliliters or so of white wine. <coughs> uh, coupled with uh, about 10 milliliters or so of white wine vinegar. To this we have 60 grams of butter and about one European shallot chopped. Now, uh, if we have some trouble getting this to emulsify, you can add sour cream, but um, this is not found in all French recipes, so I'm not going to do it. Um, unless I have to. So, unless it just fails to emulsify, we will just use this. Uh, at any rate, let's go ahead and get started. Again, sorry for the background noise. This is going to happen for a long time. There's frankly very little I can do about it. So, we're going to take our chopped shallot and we are going to add to it our wine and vinegar. We're just going to set this on to boil and we want to reduce this by about uh, half to two thirds. Okay. While this is happening, I am storing the butter in the fridge. According to the French recipes I have, um, the butter should be cold. I've noticed some non-French recipes that say the butter should be room temperature. But uh, both uh, French recipes I'm working on today uh, mention the butter should be cold. So we're just going to come back uh, once this is boiling, well, which uh, will be very shortly, and then uh, we'll just keep whisking it and stirring it. Um, in fact, I can just start that now. Just going to keep stirring this, and we're just going to let this uh, reduce for a bit. And we just want to reduce this by about uh, two thirds or so, and uh, then I'll be back. So this is probably reduced by half already, so I'm just going to let it reduce just a little more. Um, you'll note that it that it kind of develops a little bit of a rosiness from the shallot. The liquid does. You can see that here, and uh, it is re reducing slowly. So um, once we get to that point, we will initially take it off the heat, but we may apply a little bit of gentle heat periodically if we need to. And again, we'll have some sour cream standing by to further emulsify it if we need to. All right, I think this is looking really good. So I'm going to take this off and we'll just start stirring in the butter. So I've removed the heat for now. And I'm basically just going to whisk this in with the butter until the butter is fully incorporated. Then I'll add the next little cube. Um, we want to add it just a little bit at a time. And you'll see right away, it already kind of starts to thicken up a little bit, which is exactly what we want. Now, if we didn't want the shallots in here, we could, of course, um, we could, of course, um, strain it. But that's an optional step, and I like the shallot pieces in here, but it may depend to some extent on what you want to pair this with. I'm going to be pairing it with some broccoli today. Yeah, but we're just going to keep this up, and I'll be back once most of my butter is in. Uh, you'll note, I think I'm going to switch to a whisk here also.
It's really important to recognize you really have to perhaps even almost over mix this to make sure that you don't get it completely separating. And at this point you'll see that we have kind of this rosy yellow cream forming. That's exactly what we want. And I'm just going to keep adding more until we're just about done. So occasionally I'm having to just like apply some heat for like about five or six seconds, like maybe like that much. The point is to warm it up just a little bit and then we'll whisk in the last of our butter. You can see this is actually looking really good and I have not broken my emulsion. So in just a couple minutes this will be done and we will have our bourre blanc. It's surprisingly not too hard of a sauce. This sauce has a terrible reputation of being like almost impossible to get right, but as long as you do most of it off the heat and you whisk it vigorously off the heat and you use cold butter, then if it just gets too cool you can apply heat for like five or ten seconds to warm it up just a little bit and keep going. And here we have our bourre blanc. See that wasn't so bad. And if I just taste it, I'll apply a little bit of salt. And if you like, you can put a little bit of um, freshly ground pepper in also. But here we have it. Next up, I'll arrange a plate and we'll do the taste test. So with this sauce, I like to put it on the bottom. So I've just put some broccoli, blanched broccoli on top. So I'm going to go ahead and taste this um, as soon as I've done a little bit of photography. So we'll be back in just a moment. <clears throat> and now for the taste test. First, I'm just going to take a little bit of the sauce and taste it. It's already, it's interesting how thick it is. It's, um, wow, this is interesting. <clears throat> you get the butter notes, you get the tangy bit of the vinegar. A lot of complexity. It's actually quite nice. Now I'm going to try it with the broccoli. See how it makes the broccoli taste. So It's kind of weird to say, but it makes the broccoli taste really fresh. Get a little bit of a crisp of um, acidity, the sort of bite that I like to have with my vegetables. That's um, it's just like you add a little bit of lemon and butter to it. It's it's very not very very nice. Now, if you like this content, you'd like to see more of it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you have anything to say about this, uh, whether it's um, you know how you do this differently, or if you have um, any tips for anybody reading it, love to hear from you in the comments. Or if you just like to just drop by and say hi, that's fine too. At any rate, recipes in the description. Bon appetit, and see you next week.